Namaste, Girl Travelers. Today we will be exploring an off the beaten path hill station called Hemjakot, and we'll be doing a homestay. Now we're going to do a Hemjakot town tour, and Ishor, who is the lead of the community homestay program, he's going to show us around. Really excited because so far what I've experienced of of this area has been just like really cool and amazing. This is the traditional house. Oh, this is the traditional house. So this house is more than a hundred years old. You can tell that they really care about their their neighborhood and um, they take care of everything. Oh, look at this house. Oh, this is another community homestay house. Holy moly. This is really, this is like a mini hotel. Yeah. That's the way the local uh, cook food. Kumar Guru. His name is Kumar Guru. He's oh, a host of namaste. this uh, house as well. He also has a traditional you know, house and he aided this section, I think, on the left. And they always have the copper you know, pots. You can see inside. <coughs> mm -hmm. Can we go outside? Yeah, yes. Wow. So in the Gurung community, this is the way they sow their, you know, the pots and all. They have many copper pots, bronze pots. The steels are very new thing. Mm. You can see the water vase is also there on the left. They also have a, you know, the little temple in the corner. Okay. So And they keep passing on these big pots to the generations. This is beautiful. And the way they stack their dishes too. Yes. Um, everything's just done with, yes. like, uh, like they're on display. Okay. Oh, and this is the modern, the modern kitchen. So this is the modern kitchen. They don't use it. This is not big enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so they have a little bit of space. So right? just kind so of like bigger one. So they have a little rope in inside. This goes to the head. Like oh this. yeah, we thought and those And then when you are working in the fields, mm -hmm. you bend down and you can dig the fields. Wow. Oh, so this would be you your homestay six, room. Six rooms would almost That's, that would days. be your room if if you're staying here. We have like six rooms here. Because this is an old house, you've got um, non-attached bathrooms. So they're all outhouses. Oh wait, could I? Oh, it's a bit hot. Oh, it's a bit hot. Yeah. And they have to keep changing. The wood? Uh, the water. So, yeah, they have the, the fermented millet at the base of this big pot. Mm -hmm. And they also have the one pot inside. Could be a mud pot. Sometimes they use a metal one. Yeah. And they have, you know, uh, this pot at the top. So, where they change the water. Yes. And they kind of lock it with a cloth all around it so the heat doesn't go out. Uh -huh. And it heats, it kind of boils the water. And when it's too hot inside, and then the cold water on the top, uh -huh. uh, it distills, it drops, it sweats in this water, in this oh, pot. Oh, the cold water from the bottom of yes, that pot? Yes, from the top, yeah, it drops, and that's the one. So this is the rock sheet. It's clear, <coughs> made from the millet that, that they they plant here and harvest. It's very smooth, although I can feel it coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel the vapors coming out of my nose right now. It's, it's not as strong or bad as I thought it would taste. She has rice, she has soup, she has biscuits, she has candies, she has... Uh, oh, for shampoo. your hair? Yeah, this shampoo. is shampoo, little pouch, toilet paper, masalas in the top, toothpaste. Oh wow, she's got a snacks. lot, huh? Oh, so they even have like a little chicken farm right here? They're generations, not one chicken for a hundred years, which is locally produced. Since their grandparents, they had the same type of kitchen, one breed. They had the they had two types of chicken um, coops. They had one with the local chicken and the other yeah. one with some other chicken. Uh, I didn't quite chicken. see it. They have local species and the broiler species. Mm -hmm. Locals are uh, you know raised outside. They eat uh, you know plants, 
and the stones and it takes more than six months to grow one and a half kilo size yes and they are used for the soup especially for the new uh, mother so you know they they cook it so for them and they drink that soup and they get the heat in their body you know also you know the broiled chicken has more meat so less bones mm -hmm. so but you know they are used in the cities hotels and also this is the you know also the this used to be the bed for the locals in the oh village. this is the bed it's a hay mat we used to sleep in this kind of you know the mat so like 20 years 25 years back but nowadays we have a proper you know uh, the bed uh -huh. and the bed seat and all we had nothing before the the pillow used to be maybe a piece of wood how long how long does it take to, uh, to make it she said she will make two in a day but that's good is that fast yeah yeah she so said, second finish two, complete two, and get one more. <laughs> oh, his wife. He said, you always do like this phone, you know, this and this, and always watching phone, I'll, I'll break it. This <laughs> guy doesn't like that he's always hanging with the phone. These are very lively ladies. Um, but you could tell that mobile phone meant so much to that that grandpa. Um, he, he treated it so preciously. They are heckling him about it. <laughs> so there are four cows, I think. He's saying that one of the cows' calf died. Oh no. And they use their calf a leather. They make a like that calf. Oh. So they put that on the side and the cow. <laughs> Oh wow, they built up all these walls. Everything's bring, built from this brick in this house. So this is the community house uh, so for the locals. Mm -hmm. And Isor so went to Malaysia, he worked as a laborer. Yes. And he also got some money there. And he used that money as a seed money to start this building. And he went to the different government organizations and got some more funds to make it that big i can't even comprehend how much time goes must have gone into creating like these stairs or like these the walls here or look at this that's layers and layers to make steps i think what's surprising me the most about is that there's a very artistic kind of lively sense to it for a farming community or a village community in the hill I mean the sense of decor that they have like even just to plant flowers I mean some of them are very purposeful but then some of them are for color and for aesthetics even you see his his awning right there has like hanging vines he's even got colored lights so I think when it when it's nighttime it's a little more festive in this area. So this is a farming community with a very strong sense of pride in their community, their family community, and its maintenance. Like everything's clean here, uh, no trash on the on the grounds. Everything is just very neat and organized. Okay. Oh, so she's making cell roti right now. Oh, look. Again. I'm sweating in here. It's actually it's actually quite hard, hot in here. So you can imagine like she's cooking in this kind of like humid weather. Oh wow. That's a different type of fresh honey. It's a little gritty and a little um I wanna say bright. It doesn't taste as earthy. I feel like it tastes orangey actually. But the cell roti also. It's perfect. It's light, very crunchy, thin and lightly sugared, um, but very crispy, as well as a funnel cake. So it's like a cross between the two um, because it's not as dense as a funnel cake. And it's definitely a little bit more than a Chinese pretzel. So gurungs uh, have a different way to make a shell roti. They are a little more skillful mm -hmm. to make a crunchy. 
टाइप ऑफ सेल रोटी इज वॉक What is the amasua? Samuha. 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 What is amasua? Enta kor samuha. Mother guru. Or what do you discuss when you come to the uh, together? Ab se kano saro baba. Whenever they need to discuss in some projects. Pehle mai na ma dui choti ni basa. It depends. Sometimes twice a month. Sometimes maybe uh, once in a couple of months. What do you discuss? Ano samuha le yes to baato ruje sar safai. Ab aago gas le kosori. She said, like any community projects, like water, sanitation, the cleaning the road, and all. So mm-hmm. they they come together and they work. Also, when they have different functions, the wedding ceremonies, different rites and rituals, they all come together and help to that house because they may not have enough manpower in one house. So that's their job to do that. Also, is they are the community home stay. They also help each other, you know, how to uh, host uh, their guest, where they stay, and all. So they also work together on that way. Why is it? Only mothers and women. आइन दुईटै दुईटै मिलेर गर्छ हामी पहिला आमा समूहले कुडा उठाउँछ अनि बाउ समूहसँग सल्लाह गरेर हामी सबै दुईटै मिलेर गर्छ बाउ समूह सो दे अल्सो हैव काइंड अफ द फादर्स ग्रुप बट मोस्टली द मदर्स ग्रुप कम एट द बिगिनिंग दे टेक इनिशिएशंस एंड द द मेन अल्सो कम टू जॉइन हैंड्स विद द लेडीज टू रन द प्रोजेक्ट Um, it is beans. Uh, wait, bean soup. Yeah. Bean yeah. soup. Um, okra and potato again. Okra and potato. Oh, now it's mixed together. Yeah. It's uh, a little spinach. bit greens. Spinach. Oh, my favorite again. Yeah. The spicy pickle. Papadum. Oh, she makes great papadums. And I'm gonna enjoy this one in peace. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so right now we have a gurung breakfast. Looks like a chapati. Uh, we have curried potatoes with onions and some ginger tea, which will help digest. So Debbie Kurung, she wakes up around 5 a.m. in the morning, uh, I think, might be a little earlier, um, and then she begins preparing breakfast. She also has to tend to the water buffaloes. She and her husband Ram have to tend to the buffaloes, like the feeding them. um the cleaning the stalls uh feeding them again later on in the day so it has been such a peaceful stay here i can't even tell you if i weren't filming it i would have like 110% peaceful stay like i can't recommend this place more just because it's it's kind of like a way to detox and just to like be in this kind of like farm life and experience what the gurung people um or just like experience a little bit of what the gurung people go through in life it's just you know in a, their daily life it's very it's so invaluable it's an invaluable experience i tell you that la 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 go to ah oh so many things this kids from oh this name mala uh huh mala and tikka tikka nepali tikka the garlic and the tikka is uh, the powder we get enough for heat yes mala <laughs> आशीर्वाद <laughs> 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 
So now we're off to the airport for our next adventure. And check back for more Girl Traveler videos where I take you inside my solo travel adventures. As always, links in the description box below. Until then, travel safe, smart, and fun, and may the girl be with you.